Hello and welcome back to ACC Masters. In this video, we will see the difference between fixed and floating charge. But before going to see the difference between both of them, we should know the meaning of charge. As we know, every company needs cash in order to operate its day-to-day -day activity. So there are two main sources of obtaining cash for the company, for example, by selling share or the company can get cash in a form of loan. Now let's say the company has taken loan from any bank. Then the bank may want to secure this loan amount against the company's asset. That means in case if the company fail to pay this loan amount, then the bank can sell the assets of the company to recover its amount and in more technical words we can say the bank want to charge over company's assets okay so now we have two main type of charges for example the fixed charge and floating charge in case of fixed charge the bank may want to secure this loan amount against the fixed assets of the company such as building and property plant and equipment but in the case of floating charge the bank may want to secure this loan amount against the current assets of the company such as inventory and receivable so here the bank is securing this debt amount against the known current assets of the company but in the case of floating charge the bank may want to secure this loan amount against the current assets of the company okay Now if we talk about the sale of assets then the company is not allowed to sell assets which is secured by lender such as building or plant and equipment until the company paid this debt back to the bank in full okay but in the case of floating charge the company is allowed to sell these inventories there is no restriction in terms of sale in the case of floating charge now in case if the company fail to pay back to the bank then the bank can sell the assets of the company to recover its amount okay and in this case the floating charge will be converted into fixed charge in terms of its value and quantity okay and more technically it is known as crystallization where the floating charge is crystallized and becomes a fixed charge now we have certain events in which this crystallization take place for example in the case of liquidation of the company or crystallization of another floating charge if it causes the company to cease its business or in case if the company breach any term of the contract so in this case please note this point in this case we know what will be the expected amount against these charges because we know we have secured our debt against any specific building or plant and equipment but in this case in the case of floating charge the amount of inventory and receivable may fluctuate day to day for example let's say if the company has purchased some new inventory okay then the amount of inventory will be increased but in case if the company has converted this inventory into finished product then the amount of inventory will be less so on daily basis the amount of inventory or receivable may fluctuate 
and only after crystallization we can predict the actual or fixed amount or quantity now if we talk about payment preferences then the fixed charge has priority over floating charge now it is important point let's understand with an example for example here we have bank 1 and here we have bank 2 okay and both of them have secured their loan amount against the building of the company okay so specifically we are talking about building here so both of them have secured the amount of their loan against the building of the company now let's say the bank one has given loan to the company on 1st January okay and the second bank has given the loan to the company at let's say on 1st March now in this case the fixed charges will be ranked according to their order or according to their date of creation okay so we can say that the bank 1 has priority charge over the bank 2 and the same example also applies in the case of floating charges but here the assets will be current assets instead of non current assets now we have one technical point here and you have to understand it okay by default fixed charge always have priority over floating charge but we have an exception let's say for example a floating charge was arised on 1st of Jan and a fixed charge arised let's say one month later on 1st of Feb now I am going to ask you a question and I will give you 5 to 10 seconds to answer it okay according to you which one in this case have priority over other so if your answer is floating charges then you are wrong again the fixed charge has priority over floating charge but in case if two conditions will meet here then the floating charge will have priority over fixed charge and what are those two conditions let me explain you first of all there must be a clause in this floating charge contract okay and in this clause it should be mentioned that if at any later stage an other charge arised then the later charge will not be given priority over this floating charge okay so it is the condition number one and secondly it must be in the notice of fixed charge or the person who is creating this fixed charge okay so if both of these conditions meet along with these dates for example the floating charge must be created before any other charge then the floating charge will have priority over fixed charge so remember this exception and one more thing this type of clauses is known as negative pledge clauses okay so here we have the definition of negative pledge clauses a floating charge holder may seek to protect themselves against losing their priority by including in terms of their contract related to floating charge a prohibition against the company creating a fixed charge over the same property so I hope now you understand the difference between fixed and floating charges so that's all for this video see you in our next lecture